And here we go, video three of three on how to pack your restaurants for Valentine. So if you have not seen the first two videos, part one out of three and two out of three, please stop this video, go check them out. First video covers price points and menu concept. Second one talks about food descriptors and homework to be done. And this is part number three of three. Please put this video, I will be here, I'm not going anywhere, and I will be here. Okay, you have completed video one out of three and two out of three. Now this is page three out of three, part three out of three of the process. What do you do now? You have the menu item you're gonna be promoting. You have the food descriptor that you are able to develop. So you have five or six paragraphs on that special item you're gonna be featuring on your Valentine 2018. Now this is what you're gonna to need to do. Don't be intimidated. Don't get intimidated. This is so easy. If I can do it with this accent, you can do it hands down. You're going to need to make a video, a very simple video that talks about this amazing dish that you're going to be featuring on Valentine and how you're going to show people how they can do it for free from the comfort of their home. The video does not have to be very long, very simple. You can break it down, do it as you want, have fun with it. Part number one can be, hey, these are the ingredients I'm gonna be using, and you send it to your community. Part number two is that you're gonna be like, how I'm gonna mix them together. This can be video number two. Part number three can be how to plate it, meaning how to put it together in a plate so we can make it look nice and neat. The main purpose behind this video is not to give all the information at once, little by little, so that people, one, have the ability to absorb the information you're going to be giving them. You don't want to overwhelm them with details. Remember, these people that are going to be excited about this video, one, they want to do something nice for their significant other during Valentine. Two, they want to learn. So sometimes they get intimidated. They're like, oh my gosh, he's going to throw at me all these methods. You have to talk about how simple it is to create a product of love for your Valentine. And have fun with it. You know, if you have bloopers, you know, if you mispronounce a word, you know, keep going with the flow. People want to feel alive. And that is the success behind a successful marketing campaign, a video marketing campaign for Valentine or for any kind of event for that matter. This one is focused on Valentine because, hey, today is the 2nd of January and we want to get cranking on it. People go ahead and book reservations early in the game because the more they wait, the more expensive it is going to be. Now, when you're going to make this video, have fun with it. I can't help myself from repeating that so many times. Have fun with it. Take different takes. There is no specific rules. The main purpose is one, to have fun with it. Two, speak slowly. You know, uh, do not give all the information at once. Have a little series of little videos, like the one I just did for this Valentine thing. You know, you are able to build excitement about what the next information is going to be. And third, you need to invite them. Hey, come on to our restaurant where your neighbors come on in. Would love to show you how we get this done. And I would love to have a taste of the item that you have done. If you have made some, bring it to the restaurant. I would love to have a taste of it. It was amazing. You know, I did it on uh, Valentine 2016 and we did an amazing spinach fruit and nut salad and people from the neighborhood will pop up and bring me a taste of this spinach fruit and nut salad. And you know what? They were never able to do it as well as I did. It made them come to the restaurant before Valentine. They came to the restaurant on Valentine and they started coming after. So this is the beginning of your... Um, presence online for your community. Now you're going to tell me, Sham, how am I going to do to promote it? I may have a little pipeline of people in my restaurant. I hope that by now you do have a card that you give to every single guest at the end of the dining experience, asking them for their name, email address, date of birth, comments, and uh, do they do catering? I hope that you do that by now. If you don't, Please start doing that right away. A very simple card. You can put it on a Word document that has what's your name, what's your date of birth, comments, and do you do catering? And that's how you start going to start building this community. Now, if you tell me, Sham, I do not have a community right now. How do I do that? I invite you to launch a Facebook or a YouTube ad campaign as a way to reach people that are close to your place of business. 
get it done start with a small little video you're more than welcome to give it a shot you know have fun with it this is the main purpose I have a budget I do not know what your marketing budget is per month but I hope that by now you do have a budget for marketing and have fun with it you're gonna start making friends online and this is what this company is all about once they're gonna start to get used to your face everybody likes to go to a place where they recognize the person oh that's the guy on some TV right there he's live and he's better looking than on TV or he's worse looking than on TV whatever the reason may be don't be intimidated by your looks don't be intimidated by your accent don't be intimidated by anything this is your party this is your restaurant and when you host a party people follow your rules so this is in a very simple nutshell what you can do in order to pump up the house during Valentine if you stick to the plan if you followed the rules and recommendation on video number one out of three two out of three and this one you should be in no problem have an amazing success if you have any questions please comment this is what this is for we want to build a community it is time to start making the restaurant business an attractive career and i need you to help to get it done my name is sham the responsible restaurant owner to your success and remember the secret ingredient is love whether it's valentine or not